Hello, this is Lolly with a project for the September Design Team Kit from Antivera Scrap and Craft, and it's See You in the Craft Room is the theme. I wanted to use this 12-inch piece of paper with this beautiful design on it, and I knew I needed a large design for my project, and that was to cut it apart and make sort of a puzzle out of it. Recently, I got this set of blocks from a thrift store, and I knew when I saw it, immediately I wanted to make this puzzle. I took out the letters S-E-A, but I wasn't thrilled that the E and the A were the same color. I mean, come on, right? So I decided to paint the E a different, I mean, the A a different color from the E. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Next, I looked at my paper and figured out how big of the pattern I wanted to cut off and how many blocks it would take if, with one inch squares to cover that territory. Lined them all up and then took them back out of the box so that I could paint the box. And then I took that and painted it one coat of this light color of blue, and uh, it has a nice wash look. Then I got out the stencil to make some bubbles in the area of the box that would not be covered by the blocks when they were in it. And I used the white paint and a sponge to gently sponge some white paint over that area. I think it turned out real well, as you can see right here. Very cute, and that's exactly what I needed to create interest at the top. And the next step was to take some blocks, the very bottom row, and make them paint them black. When it dried, I sanded the edges. And um, after that, I cut off one inch strip of the uh, paper and cut that one inch strip into one inch squares, as you'll see here. And then I attached them with a uh, Mod Podge. And then each row of blocks above that, I had to paint a lighter color because the top of the paper design was blue and the bottom was black, I mixed my paint differently for each row of blocks as I went up going from black to light. Then I cut a, apart the rest of my paper design into one inch strips and those strips into one inch squares, glued those onto the blocks with Mod Podge and when dry sealed with one coat of Mod Podge. Whew, it was a lot of work, but look at it. Isn't this turning out adorable? So this is the first two rows I'm putting in there. And then when I was done, I just kept putting it in until I got all the way to the top. This is how I got to the end. I think it is so cute and very fun. I did not glue the blocks into the box. So this is what it looks like now. So I have, it looks like a puzzle. The pieces are not glued in. And I really think that is so adorable. So you could use it as a puzzle. Now, one of the reasons I had the, kind of the crazy design here and didn't carry it all the way up to the top was I wanted room at the top for other things. And um, the, the, the box was missing some blocks anyway, so I just went with what I had. I was missing some pieces, and I kind of like this because I was able to add that. So what I was thinking, um, this came in the kit, and I cut off a piece, and I thought that would make a good showcase back there for adding something in the top. So I want to get out um, E6000, see if I can glue it down that way. It's rather porous, but if I do it right here at the top where it's um, folded over on itself, hopefully I will have more adhesion. Now, this is really, really low, and I'm trying to use it the last of my tube so therefore it's a little hard to squeeze out but I'm managing so let's get that adhered in there and um, you could glue these blocks in place I mean that would be totally fine um, but I decided maybe I won't because when it, um, these things come there's a, a groove here right there and a plexiglass lid slides in and I want to see if I can rescue that they had taped it six ways to kingdom come uh, when they put it in the thrift store. And you can see the marks on here. It is really hard to get every single bit of it off because I like to get the tape shards off first before I take the goo gone or whatever to get the goop on it. And it's on both sides. It's been taped. It's a mess. I've already broken off all my fingernails trying to, trying to work with it. So... Um, I'm going to find a scraper and see what I can do. So I'll just slide that in there and it will hold everything in place for me. And I could slide that out and still take these pieces out to be used as a puzzle. So anyway, that's my thinking. Um, and then, you know, since blocks have letters and numbers on them anyway, I had taken the ones that said C and I figured those could be really cute at the top right here, just sitting in there. And the... Where'd it go? My little, <laughs> this was so sweet that came in the kit. And I was thinking it had to have a prominent place. So this actually will fit in there, won't it? 
Yep, it fits right behind that plexiglass thing there, so it won't cause any problems. And the plexiglass will help that to stay in without me having to glue it in. Now for here, um, there was a um, one of the cut-apart cards that just had a seahorse on a blue background. And I stuck it through my PicScan mat with Cameo. And I actually offset it a little bit to get the blue around the edges. It kind of looks like a shadow. And then I cut out a second seahorse to kind of give him some strength. And I was hoping, yep, hoping he would fit there. But I think he kind of needs to be elevated just a little bit. So I'm going to see what I need to do to put him up there. And um, what else I was thinking? Uh, well, let's get him mounted first. And I think I'm going to need some extra glue because um, he's gluing on to wood and he's gluing on to that um, hessian. He's going to need a little extra TLC to get him to stick anywhere. Oops, I thought I just peeled that off, but I didn't. And maybe one more on his tail. Hopefully these round ones will, will work. Whoa, just perfectly. I hope that's okay. So... Usually what you can do is to add a little, little extra glue and you're gluing it to something that's not paper. And so we could use the E6000 to give him a little extra glue boost. Let's see if that works. But I was thinking too about adding a little bit of color like, you know, this is the C. Maybe we could add some little um, gems like some tr hidden treasure that we found. Maybe some pearls. Let's see. The E6000 should give him a little extra... Oh yeah, I really like the fact that he is not just leaning against the flat back of the box there. So that gives him the boost I wanted him to have. Now the question is, um, I found these. I went through my stash to figure out what I had that I could like add some sparkle or whatever. I did find uh, plenty of flat back pearls. Whoops. I could add a couple of those here and there. I also cut this out, which was the end of the paper strip for the collection. So maybe that right there a couple pearls and these were in the um the kit from last month if i can pick them up like i said i lost my nails trying to get the um uh, <laughs> trying to get that tape off is that too much blue i don't know think about it but i like the look of the pearl there and i might use another pearl somewhere like up here i think i like that look but i also have these clear they look like bubbles and i think they're really cute and I thought about putting maybe one of those up there. Let's see. Or would they look good down here like they were from the fish? You know, that would be cute too. So that could work. I also have, these are just like um, acrylic, but I do have some actual glass, flat black glass, flat back glass ones. I'm not really feeling the love with this ones. If I, they don't look like bubbles so much as like those do, but they might work up here or something. They don't really show up that well, so I'm not, not positive. I think in the meantime, I'm going to give this fish some bubbles. And maybe that fish, or is that too much? Maybe I should turn them sideways. Let's just give the one fish some bubbles for now, because I know I'm happy with that. And then I'll have to really, really think about it as to whether I want to put any bubbles anywhere else on the actual wooden blocks here. Well, it turns out what has happened when I put that on, the needle didn't actually go into the tip, so I have to play with that off camera. But I know the diamond glaze will also do the same thing. I just have to be careful because this really kind of squishes out so fast that I just want to get a little bit there, see if that'll work. But I really like the bubbles there. I think that really adds a little bit of dimension. And yeah, see if I can get that on camera. Very cute. Okay, now for these things here, like I'm, I don't know that I'm going to glue the blocks in or that, but some of these things do need to be glued in like that. And I am going to glue in the flat back pearls here. It's hard to get my fingers into this, <laughs> but very cute. It's a very adorable project. You know, you could do this for um, a child. You could get them a set of blocks and use your decorative papers like this, papers with images on it. And you could actually do one of these on several sides of the, of the blocks. Obviously you would, these are lumpy, but you've got one, two, three, four sides of the block. You can make one picture, 
turn it over, make another picture, turn it over, make another picture, etc. You could have four different photos in there. Now I see that this one has a seashell and I could put it there, but I think that that is lacking in color and interest to me. There's that and there was a boat and out of all these images there was only, there they are. I just don't think that that adds any interest, but I like the color of this. So there you go. I'm not going to worry about the plexiglass right now, but I think this is going to be adorable on a wall and I may still come back in and add some kind of embellishment on the frame. Not really sure on that. It could even add some bubbles or something along along here to add some interest, but right now I feel like I need to stop working on it. Oh, 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 look what I just found. The stickers. The question is, do I need a little sticker somewhere in here? Pretty sure that this little crab is calling to me. He's so cute, and I think he really, really needs to be in there somewhere. So I need to get some E6000 because obviously I don't think he's going to stick to that material unless he has a little help. So let's do that. And let's put him by under the sea here. I really like that right there. <laughs> oh, that is just too cute. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to zoom in so you can see Mr. the Crab here because he's too fun. Isn't that adorable? That sticker just really makes me laugh. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. It was a great project and very fun thinking outside the box and using another thrift store haul.